photo okay <laughs> hey what's up buddy hey what's all this i'm just making a stop motion movie using cookies and candy mm -hmm. just have one picture left and it's done can't wait Did it! <laughs> you wanna see it? Oh yeah. Let's roll it. on that all morning. All morning? Yes! Well, I was hungry. You couldn't have waited just 30 minutes? It's my basement that? and you don't live here! You know what? I just... Hello, everyone. Yeah, hello. I'm Brandon, he's John, and welcome to the So-and-So Show. Yes. Here's the deal, friends. John messed up a project I was working on, hey, and I'm a little... pretty much already done. You know, I, I really just can't today, okay? Uh, uh, I'm just... Okay, okay. Uh, 
I'm saying I'm saying uh, I'm saying I'm saying I'm saying I'm 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 gonna get some fresh air. Okay. Why can't I just say I'm sick? There's gotta be a, something around here that can help me. There's got, where can I look for something that can help me? Somewhere in here. Oh, maybe over here. I'm oh, sorry. I mean, oh, I just said it. Whoa! How to Apologize the Right Way by Francine Nosseri. That's very convenient. Okay. <clears throat> um, okay. Looking to make the perfect apology? Well, then you've come to the right place. With my 17-step process, you'll never have to worry about being sorry again. For online consulting, please face call this number. Okay. Well, 17 steps, that's a lot. <laughs> Maybe I should just, uh, okay, hold on, hold on. International. Hello, Francine here. Are you looking for Francine the florist, uh, Francine the mortician, Francine the chiropractor, or Francine the scuba diving instructor? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually looking for Francine who wrote How to Apologize the Right Way. Oh, you're, uh, you're looking for Francine the professional apology consultant. Yes. Oh, please hold. Hello? Oh, uh, hi, is this Francine? Yes, author of How to Apologize the Right Way. I'm a professional apology consultant. It's perfect. My, my name's John, and uh, I think I need to apologize. So, uh, should I tell you what I did? <laughs> Apologizing is all about a performance. What you did or didn't do is irrelevant. That doesn't seem right. Ron. It is Ron, right? John. Precisely. I am the author of How to Apologize the Right Way, which sold over seven copies. And only five of those were family members. Wow. Yes. Wow. So, apologizing is all about the performance. Shouldn't I just say I'm uh, so Silence! This is a very intricate process, Ron. Now, let me hear your best wail. Oh, um... Oh, oh pathetic. Louder. Oh. Louder! Oh. Not from here, from here! Oh. 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 Excellent. Thank you. Now, now we'll focus on our physical posture to apologize. Oh. Stand up. Yes. And lie all the way down on the table. Oh. Yes. Snap to. Oh, oh yes. sorry, sorry, sorry. Now, while apologizing, you can put your head toward the ground. Yes. Now, pound the table. Pound it. Both fists. Pound the table. Very nice. Yes. Now, get on your knees. And clasp your hands together. Now, beat your chest. Beat your chest. Oh. Yes, yes. Do it. Uh -huh. Yes. Excellent. Oh. Excellent. Uh, okay. Now, you can choose from a variety of those while you wail. Oh, oh well, that's, that's really helpful. 
Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, excellent. Now, remember that your face has to match your body. Oh. You can make this face. <laughs> yes, very nice. Now, the tear squeeze scrunch. <laughs> Oh, you're a natural. <laughs> and finally, stick out your bottom lip and raise your jaw up and down really quickly like this. Yes, excellent. <laughs> now, when you see your friend again, just put it all together and you will officially apologize. <laughs> also, if you can't squeeze out any real tears, just spray some water in your face. I never knew apologizing was so complicated and, and seemingly fake. Well, that's how you apologize the right way. Thanks, Francine. Okay. Here we go. Oh, 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 Are you trying to say you're sorry? Uh, uh, yes. Then just say it. You don't need to put on a show. Oh. <clears throat> um. I'm Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, Kellen. Hey, guys. What's going on? Long day. Oh, yeah? What? I apologize. That wasn't an apology. Uh, well, I don't think it gets more real than that. You know, let's just do the Bible story, Kellen. Well, our story today is actually about forgiveness. And I'd love to get your help for another edition of Human Head Puppet Theater. Our story today comes from the book of Luke. Jesus sometimes told short stories called parables. A parable is a simple story that has a bigger meaning that teaches us something about God, or about ourselves. Now, this story was about a father and his two sons. The older son. I'm the older son. And the younger son. Yo, I'm the younger son. Hey. <laughs> now, the younger son decided he was done living with his family. He wanted to get away, so he did something unthinkable. Oh, man. This life is ridiculous. Sitting out here working all day for my dad. <laughs> There's got to be more to life than this. Uh, I'm done. I'm done. Dad. 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 Yes, son. <laughs> oh, yo, I want my inheritance. I'm done with this. Well, when I die, you'll. No, nope. I want it. Now. Um. Well, okay. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Look at this! Let's go dance. Now, this had to hurt his father greatly. For a child to ask for their inheritance was almost like saying they'd rather their father be dead. Oof. But even though the father was hurt, he gave the younger son his part of the inheritance. And the younger son went off and spent the money. <laughs> hey there, chef, bring me more. Woo, there's some more money. <laughs> bring me more. <laughs> oh, hey, excuse me, uh, Mr. Fancy Pants Taylor Man. Can I have that fancy hat, please, with this money? Whoa! <laughs> oh, that looks good. You know what? I'll take everything you got there. Here's my money. Give me all that clothes. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! 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 
Eventually, the younger son wasted all of his money until there was nothing left. Oh, hey, <laughs> give me another round of lobster. Huh? Uh, oh, uh, we, we, uh. <laughs> Looks like I'm a little short on coin. Yeah, you, you think I can just give you an IOU? <laughs> Maybe. What? What? Where'd all my food go? Oh, 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 hey, wait. Oh, well, at least I got my fancy clothes. Yeah, no. Oh, no. I got nothing. <laughs> the younger no. son had wasted <laughs> no. his entire inheritance. And then, well, then there was a famine in the country and there was very little food anywhere. So the younger son had to get a job feeding pigs and he was wearing nothing but rags. Oh, well, here you go, pig. Oh man, I'm so hungry. <laughs> hey pig, you think maybe you could spare some of that slop over there? I'd like... Whoa, 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 okay, okay, okay. <gasps> what am I doing? My father's hired servants live a better life than I do. Oh, I'll go to my father and I'll tell him, I'm sorry, I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. But maybe, just maybe, you can hire me as one of your servants. <laughs> it's a better life than this. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? So the younger son traveled back to his father's house. He was ready to no longer be considered his father's son. But something amazing happened. Oh. As the son approached, oh. the father oh. saw the oh. younger son from a distance. My son! Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm getting closer. <laughs> Welcome! Oh. oh, Father, I've sinned against you and against heaven. <laughs> I'm no longer fit to be called your son. Bring the best robe and put it on him. Bring a ring for his finger and kill the fatted calf. <laughs> yes, that one. We are going to have a feast to celebrate. My long lost son has come home. He was lost, but now he is found. Oh, damn. I love your son. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do that. The father was so happy to see his long lost son, he couldn't contain his joy. And he didn't make the younger son pay him back for all the mistakes he had made. However, the older son was not too happy when he found out, and he let his father know. Dead. Dead! Oh, yes. Uh, son, did you hear? Uh, come and celebrate with us. Did I hear? Celebrate? You've got to be kidding me. I've worked for you all these years, always obeyed you. You wouldn't even give me so much as a goat to celebrate with my friend. <laughs> And you kill the fatted calf for my brother who left? You throw him a party? Boo! Oh, my son, everything I have is yours, but we have to celebrate your brother was dead. But now he's alive. He was lost, but now he's found. Boo! The end. Great story, Kellen. Yeah. Thanks. I love that story because no matter what we've done, God is always willing to forgive us. Thanks, Kellen. No problem. I'll see you next time. It can be really hard to ask for forgiveness sometimes. Yes, it can be. But it's important even if it's hard. And so, Brandon, <clears throat> I'm sorry about eating the cookie. I, uh, I could have waited and I didn't. It's all good. Aww. Thank you. You know, you know that's got me thinking though. Reveal the question. Ah, what is it hard to ask for forgiveness? Yeah, saying you're sorry isn't always easy. Yeah, but it's important in any relationship with your friends or your parents or your siblings, your teachers. Yeah, when you've done something that breaks a rule or hurts someone, it's important to let the person know you're sorry. Mm-hmm. And thankfully, 
God will always forgive us, no matter what. And when we think about that, it's easier to forgive others like God does. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Yeah, but we'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show. <clears throat> do you mind if I help you make a new movie? Oh, yeah, sure, let's do it. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. All right, so let's go get some cookies. No, I have a whole box. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs>